effect of nuclear charge. An atom contains a central nucleus with positively charged protons and neutrally charged neutrons. Surrounding the nucleus in different energy levels are negatively charged electrons. Similar charges repel and opposite charges attract. In a neutral atom, the number of protons atomic number is equal to the number of electrons. Since they are opposite in charge, electrons feel a constant pull towards the protons in the nucleus, while electrons repel each other outside the nucleus. The effective nuclear charge is defined as the net positive charge, pulling these electrons towards the nucleus. The stronger the pull on the outermost electrons valence electrons towards the nucleus, the higher the effective nuclear charge. To understand effective nuclear charge, it is important to understand the shielding effect. Shielding effect is a phenomenon that occurs when valence electrons are blocked from feeling the strong pull of the nucleus by the innermost electrons core electrons. Now to apply the shielding effect to effective nuclear charge and how it relates to the size of an atom. Atoms with a larger atomic radius generally contain more protons in their nuclei and therefore more electrons in surrounding energy levels. Having more energy levels within an atom means there are more core electrons that are held tightly to the nucleus. As the shielding effect increases due to an increase in core electrons, valence electrons are also being repelled by the core electrons. This creates a larger atomic radius due to a lower, effective nuclear charge. Effective nuclear charge trend. Periodic trends are important to understand how bonds are formed and how chemical reactions are produced. Most trends can be understood both going down, a group and across a period. Other trends that are important in understanding effective nuclear charge on the periodic table, trend, are atomic radius, atomic number, and ionization energy. Atomic radius generally increases down a group and decreases across a period. Atomic number increases down a group and across a period. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove a valence electron and it decreases down a group and across a period. First, look at the impact of atomic number and shielding effect on atomic radius and ionization energy going down a group. When an atom has a larger atomic radius there is a larger shielding effect on its valence electrons. This is because of the increase in the number of core electrons due to an increasing atomic number that are blocking the valence electrons from feeling the pull towards the nucleus. When the valence electrons aren't feeling the nuclear charge as strongly, this makes them easier to remove and therefore decreases the atom's ionization energy and therefore effective nuclear charge decreases for elements going down the periodic table. Effective nuclear charge generally increases for elements, going across the periodic table. When atomic radius is small, the valence electrons are held more tightly to the nucleus resulting in a larger ionization energy. Much like ionization energy, the atomic number going across a period also increases. However, atomic radius decreases going across a period. This is because the number of core electrons is the same, therefore the shielding effect is constant. An increase in atomic number with a constant shielding effect and decreasing atomic radius means the valence electrons are held more tightly to the nucleus and will result in a larger ionization energy and larger net positive charge for the atom.